Hi friends, welcome to my channel. So, this is the next video in my series of interview question and answer for Splunk. So, let's begin with the next question. So, what is summary index? So, summary index is by default index, which is used for summarize the data. So, when you say summarize the data, uh, so whenever you want to want a report uh, to give the out, output uh, a specific report to give the output to uh, uh, to to convert it in, into summary so you can use summarize uh, summary index so there you can give your own index you can create your own index but before that you need to create a save search and after uh, creating save search you need to uh, choose whether you want to summarize or no. So when you uh, in drop down there, there is an option of summarizing uh, summary index. So when you click over that, it will ask for summary index where you want to summarize your data and uh, some other options are there. So this is so this is nothing but uh, a summary index where you you want to summarize the data and 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 uh, the main thing of uh, this summary index is there there will be a no licensing consume when you are going to summarize the data okay so so again it's a kind of index as uh, the normal index are there once you summarize the data you can directly run uh, your searches on that particular this particular uh, summary index so it's again it, it will be kind of a normal uh, index but with summarized data like for example you have calculated uh, a weekly data in in some tabular format like like some tabular numerical format will be there now you can push that uh, that format that uh, uh, summarized data for for a week on onto summary index and now you have a summarized data already so whenever you are going to uh, report uh, you do uh, want to do a report so you can directly access this summarized data you do not want to uh, a query on the raw data so you have already summarized data in uh, your index so this is all about some summary index so next question let's move to next question so the next question types of licensing licenses in in uh, uh, Splunk so there are multiple uh, types of license in Splunk so uh, the first one is a free license free license uh, where you have 60 days of so uh, mainly we can uh, divide uh, the license in, in in category one is free license second one is enterprise license and third one is cloud license so all the other categories belong to these uh, 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 these category okay so in free license you can that, that can be used for POC or a very small organization uh, where you have a limited uh, you, you want a limited functionality and uh, have you can you can uh, ingest only 500 MB data per day and that will last only till 60 days okay so this is uh, about free license second is enterprise license you need to uh, check with Splunk and you need to purchase enterprise licensing and second one, uh, next one is cloud so in uh, difference between enterprise and cloud uh, is these both are paid one so uh, the difference in between is in enterprise they will uh, sell you the, the, the Splunk will sell you the product and you need to install that product on your own on your premises on prem whether it can be a cloud you need to purchase the cloud and you will be the owning uh, that uh, end, uh, infrastructure and, but in cloud you uh, take Splunk as service so you, you need not to worry about installing configuring just you, you need to tell them the requirement and then they will configure on behalf of you okay so that will be managed by Splunk so there are multiple things in in uh, uh, in free and enterprise license so enterprise uh, when I call it enterprise so it, it also 
has a functionality of a cloud uh, you can also relate it to, relate it uh, with the cloud because both are same both are same just it is managed by uh, splunk and the enterprise is managed by you so in difference in enterprise and cloud uh, th there are certain difference you cannot in 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 uh, uh, free licensing you not create an alert you cannot create access access control you can cannot do access control you cannot create uh, clustering over there distributed environment you cannot do it on that apart from that there is few more uh, licenses are there forwarding licenses so uh, forwarder licenses so whenever you you create a forwarders you need to assign a forwarders a licenses so there are one more type of licensing can be there slave and, and master it's part it's specifically not a licensing it's a, a kind of a role you are assigning to uh, to that to master or slave so this is all about it so in broad category these are uh, there there is a, a few more hunk or uh, Hunk licensing are there, that is used for big data. Uh, also, there is one more licensing. Is there trial licensing? A free and trial both are similar, but after expiring, uh, the free licensing you need to uh, go for any of the three licensing for trial, uh, enterprise, hunk, or cloud means three, not four, four, four of them. So this is all about uh, Splunk licensing. So let's move to the next question. So types of uh, Splunk command. So there are uh, multiple types of uh, Splunk commands. So first is distributable streaming command. Uh, second is centralized streaming command, transforming streaming command, generating streaming command, orchestrating streaming uh, orch orchestrating command, and data set processing command. Okay. So this is the types of uh, commands. So the next question is what is uh, eval command so uh, eval command uh, whenever you are doing some calculation so it's a, it's a kind of a calculating command whenever you want to do some calculation arithmetic calculation or uh, you want to combine uh, a string so you can use uh, eval command so eval command will create an extra uh, field in your uh, event and, and and the result of your uh, your operation will uh, assign to that field so if you want uh, like uh, like say uh, uh, you do not have full name in your uh, data employ full name in your data so uh, what you can do is you can create a field called uh, with pipe eval full name is equal to first name dot second name or plus second name so it will give you the full name so dot and plus will what what it will do it will call concatenate uh, concatenate your uh, first name and uh, second name uh, both the name will call concatenate and it will assign it to eval so similarly you can do arithmetic operation or any uh, any other operations you can use it uh, uh, you eval command can be used uh, uh, it with if if a statement case statement match or or other uh, most uh, many of the function you can use it through a well command so simply it's a calculating command so let's move to the next question uh, the reporting and result category commands so reporting and result cap category uh, category categories uh, are where you can uh, present a reporting like say uh, there is a, there is a, a command called uh, transforming uh, generally the transforming co co command can be categorized as a, a reporting command where you can uh, perform your your output in tabular format uh, so the command for that is table or or stats or chart time chart so these are the commands can be used for reporting purpose. So this is the category of it. So next question will be SOS. So this is called Splunk on Splunk.